Welcome to Listed Live, where we showcase San Diego's finest homes for sale. Welcome to Rebecca Martins here. Rebecca, how are you doing? Great. Thanks, Derek, for having me. Looking forward to this one in Vista. Tell us about it. Uh, this is a very interesting property, as you can see here. Uh, it's a fantastic property, and there's something funny I'm going to tell you. I couldn't even get in here to the studio, uh, and we've already gone into escrow, 115000 over ask with 13 offers. I did an open house this Saturday. Wow. And uh, yes, it this is. This is what, an acre and a half? It is. It's uh, 1.58 acres in Vista with a uh, old farmhouse. Uh, very cool, but definitely a major fixer uh, with a detached two car garage. And, uh, you know, we've just done a lot of marketing and we did a mega open house. Uh, we probably had at least 75 people through there. And, uh, you know, our sellers are very happy. Yeah, they should be. You did a great job for them. I mean, an acre and a half in Vista is something very special, of course. It is, and it's in a fantastic location as well. This is a lovely uh, couple that we were working with, and we're really happy with the results, and they are super happy with the results, too. Now they've moved on to another state and let go of their home that they've lived in for 28 years. Wow. So for people who might be thinking, hey, my home is not in you know, good enough condition to exactly. sell and get top dollar, or, you know, we need to do a bunch of things to it uh, before we hit the market. You might be proof here that that's not necessarily true. That is true. And uh, we met with them before, and we walked around, and we talked about what should they do, what should they not do. And uh, I showed up with my teenagers that helped them load a truck. And, uh, you know, they're very happy. We've uh, negotiated for them to be able to leave everything behind. There is uh, quite a bit left behind on the property itself. Uh, there are two garages filled with things. And uh, we negotiated all of that to be left behind uh, for the seller. And the buyer is going to handle that. Wow. So it's all about negotiation and competition. Then doing a good job of it, which you clearly did on this one. Yeah. <laughs> It was a pleasure. Yeah, this is amazing. So great location, acre and a half in Vista, uh, dated, you know, needs some work, um, looks like on the in interior, but not in terrible condition. It's from the 1930s, so there's quite a bit going on here, but I mean, endless potential. I mean, there are two entrances to this property. A lot of times you'll see a property that has room for an ADU, but no way to access it, where this actually has an entrance on this street and an entrance on this street. So incredible. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, we love it. And they're just the loveliest people to work with. And what an opportunity. That's awesome. So, Rebecca, so this one is in escrow now. Yes. You're accepting backup offers? We did have 13 offers. People can call me about it if they'd like. Yeah, I'd say if you are looking to, you know, sell a home that you think needs repair and things like that first. This is obviously proof that it's not. What was the secret to that for you? What was what? Yeah, what was the secret to being able to sell this home without ne necessarily needing to make those kinds of repairs? I think having a seller that listened to us about pricing, you know, and we told her, this is where we start, this isn't where we end, you know, and pricing is a strategy. And you did it, and you did it well. Rebecca, great job. All right, Appreciate thanks for on. having thanks me. Thanks for showcasing this. Look, if you are looking to sell your home, you don't want to have to make all of those repairs, give Rebecca Mange a call with the information on the screen.